Hi, my name is Karush, and I wanted to talk a little bit about the new tabs feature that's been introduced in the recent builds of OmniFocus. Uh, it might be also related to the uh, Mac OS Sierra uh, operating system. Uh, however it is, they're pretty neat, and I like using them to structure my sessions. You can see from the dashboard uh, that I've uh, got here that uh, these are my do soon tasks as well as my flag tasks. And I structure it so that it's mainly uh, of the flag tasks. Uh, these are sessions of work. So any one of these would link to a either perspective or project or task, uh, or task list, I should say, that um, I can work on and then come back here to the dashboard and mark it complete. And that way I don't have, let's say, 30 tasks uh, sitting in the dashboard. It's just they're all grouped by the type of work. So what I like to do is that after I'm done with any particular session of work, I like to go to the inbox and then clear it and then return to the dashboard. So using this tab feature, so I'm going to use, I've, I've um, set the uh, key command using keyboard maestro to command T, so it's similar to Safari, uh, I can create a new tab. And uh, so uh, what I'll do is I'll switch this over to the inbox using command 1. And I can, let's say, open another tab. Uh, this would bring me back to the inbox. But uh, hmm. let's say I want to do this one. This one has a uh, task in there. There we go. And actually, let me get rid of that. So, uh, so now here I might do the work. Let's say I want to use a workspace. Shift-Command-F to focus it. And then um, have a workspace designed to just focus on mainly tasks that are due, it arranges tasks by uh, when they're next due. And, you know, let's say I've, during this time, uh, I've come up with uh, uh, do stuff in other project. That would go to the inbox. And I also um, have to return another call um, and put that in a, a call context. That's fine. And during that time, I put those in the inbox. They stay out of my way. And uh, I can always come back to them, decide what I want to do with them. Right now, I mark these complete. All right, so I'm done with this. I hit Command-W to close out that workspace. I come to the inbox. I go ahead and process what I need to do. So let's say this one is related to the workflow project. I'm going to put that under administration. Why not? And return another call. And um, I don't know where to put this one. Family, kids outings, why not? There we go. And uh, I'm done. So I hit, uh, I can close that out and uh, come back here, mark this complete, and I can continue my work. So I just kind of like this sort of setup where I have like, lined up the intention, the, the intentions of what workspaces I want to work in and have them lined up in that way from right to, from, uh, yeah, from right to left. Another neat thing is that I'm using Jesse Hollington's uh, script that lets me hit Command G to uh, go directly to the link. So here I have this, uh, the um, perspective or process afternoon communications. I can hit uh, Command G and it'll create a tab uh, directly from where I want to work. And, you know, I can just keep this going if I... Um, uh, you know, let's say this was related to some other uh, perspective. Um, you know, I can make this get kind of ridiculous if I wanted to. Um, what perspective? Which I, let's say considerations. Um, obviously, this doesn't quite make sense, but uh, let's say there was another task that had considerations, and then I can hit Command G, and once again I jump to the next thing, and then that way I can kind of go through a whole series of of, uh, of perspectives, and then as I let's say finish something here. I can close that off, finish this one off, um, close that off, and come back to the dashboard and mark that complete. Uh, I skipped the inbox step here, but you get the idea. Um, yeah, you can add the, uh, you know, let's let's play with one other idea. Let's let's add uh, considerations on one of them. Um, considerations. Move that back here. Let's um, add an inbox. Or actually, you know what? Let's uh, uh, let's go from here. Workflow project is. So this workflow project has a whole series of, 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 um, of uh, projects here designed. 
Um, so it's a, it's a large constellation of projects, fine. And let's hit Command T, and we'll pick an inbox. So this way I can, let's say I want to do all this work, or some work, maybe I'll just do a little bit of it, and that's fine. Those look like interesting tasks, don't they? All right, so let's say I'm done with those. And uh, I feel like I'm done, I do the inbox, mark this complete, and let's say I just, let's say I finished everything. We're, we're, we're done. Hey, great. Now I can go to my considerations, you know, af after everything is done that needs to be done. Or if I like to go to just my general contexts after I'm done with everything, I can have this all set up, you know, just ready to go after I'm done with the dashboard. So you can just play with lots of different ideas here. Anyway, I think this is kind of neat and it's fun. Um, if you're interested in um, messing around with Keyboard Maestro, that's another program. I write, I blog a little bit about that on my site, uh, using OmniFocus.com. If you're interested in learning more about any of these particular perspectives or how I streamline work in general to keep a clear mind, uh, check out my book, Creating Flow with OmniFocus at usingOmniFocus.com. My name is Karush. Thanks for watching.